Hello, good morning and welcome to forexforstudyprofit.com. Uh, I use the Commitment of Traders report which comes out every week on a Friday and uh, I need to give me an idea of uh, market direction. Uh, I analyse the ratios of longs to shorts for the commercials and non-commercials and I also look at the divergence on the pairs and uh, it gives me an idea of market direction. We'll just go and have a quick look at the charts. So here we have the uh, commitment of traders information in its raw form. You get the non-commercial positions and the commercial positions, uh, long and short, and then you get the uh, change in open interest. And you also get that broken down underneath for longs and shorts for both the commercials and the non-commercials. And we can see this broken down into a graph over a period of time, which also gives us comparatives, which are also very useful to um, look back on the history. And so we'll go and do that right now. And here we have a graph of the positions over uh, 52 weeks, that's a year, for the commitment of traders of the commercials and non-commercials. And this is for the Australian dollar. This chart is produced by cotbase.com. Um, and you can see here where we got to a low position with the commercials and we're completely opposite to the speculators uh, and they, they've got a long position so uh, we're short. You can see we had a big drop off in the price of the Australian dollar. Uh, conversely when we were at a high and very bullish for the commercials and we were fairly bearish for the non-commercials that we actually had a hike in uh, the rise of the price of the Australian dollar. This is a very useful tool to be using. And uh, we can show you other ways that we use it and uh, other things that we do with it. So here we have the Australian dollar, US dollar, and we've got the RSI. Now, if we put a trend line on the RSI and we wait for it to go above the 69.1 and come back down and cut through it, this gives us a sell signal. Now, this obviously would have been a very good sell signal here. We had a sell signal here indicating this big long fall that we've had. And quite recently, uh, we've had a, um, a, a rise in the price of the Australian dollar, which it's just going through the 50 here. And I'm expecting it to turn back down and cut through the trend line, which will give us another sell signal because we have an extreme position of uh, short uh, the commercials and long the non-commercials on the commitment of traders report. And this should be quite a long sustained downward um, trend, which is always very profitable. Last bit of information. This is Ludwig's divergence calculator and it works really well. And this helps us with the crosses. These are the uh, currencies against the US dollar. And here we have the crosses calculated and it gives us a, a divergence value uh, uh, between the commercials and the non-commercials. And it shows some of the pairs that are of more interest than others. Uh, a very useful tool, only available on the members center. And um, it's, uh, it, we, the, the pairs that are of most interest, we do feature on the video on the Member Centre every day. So you get a daily video on those. Hello, good morning and welcome. It's the 11th of January and uh, it's just approaching 9.30. Um, we saw quite a bit of strength for the Japanese yen yesterday and we have actually got returning strength for the US dollar after the surprise news that uh, China were not going to use uh, the dollar anymore. Um, I, I, I really cannot see how they can get away with that. They might reduce their use, but basically just not using it at all does not seem um, probable to me. Anyway, the, the pullback... Um, was a, a nice little sell anyway. So uh, we've uh, we've come off the highs on the Audi USD. Um, the uh, the Australian dollar dollar is actually struggling a little bit at the moment. Uh, I, this long ratio for the commercials is still troubling me a little bit. 
but um, I still see this basically as a fairly good sell where it is. Um, we have got a high here, high there. We're at the same level basically on the candles, but we have made a much lower low, uh, a much lower high on the RSI, which shows a little bit of sentiment towards the downside. Um, still think we might see a little bit more up. Uh, if I wasn't in it, I'd be taking another trade uh, where it is now. And I'm uh, waiting to see the commercials change. When the commercials change short, uh, I'll be selling this back down through. So um, there we go. Uh, the pound is starting to go weak. This is the pound US dollar commercial short ratio of 1.4 to 1. Um, you know, I, I'm expecting to come over the next couple of months, get back down here to the 129 mark. I, I see a lot of uh, trouble for the um, for the pound over the coming months. Uh, and I'm seeing more strength coming through for the dollar. Uh, we're uh, pointing down on the RSI. I want it to go into the uh, below the 50, which is the negative area for uh, for this pair. And uh, I've already got a trade on about here. I, I prefer all of these majors on the crosses at the moment. Uh, I think it's better risk reward. Uh, this is the Euro US dollar. It's on a daily chart. We had this nice pop up yesterday. It was only about 50 pips. Uh, I took advantage of uh, just getting a couple more trades in there. I've got one at entry and um, one with a little bit of profit on it. So uh, we'll see where that goes over the day. But uh, we are actually flat on the RSI at the moment. Because um, uh, apart from the little bit of excitement that we had the last two days, basically we've had really flat candles. I'd like to see this pop below and hold below the 50. Uh, so uh, let's see where that's going. Commercial short ratio, I don't know if I mentioned it, 1.8 to 1. Uh, USD CAD, this has come up nicely up the bottom here. Uh, we cut through the trend line um, and, uh, you know, we've we got a good lift on that. I, I was basically over trading uh, a little bit. So um, I, I, I would have put another trading down there. I, you know, I just didn't have the uh, resources to fund it if it went the wrong way. We have a short ratio of 1.8 to 1. And I'm sure that's going to be increased by the time we get to Friday. Uh, USD, a Swiss franc. Uh, we've seen a little bit of an upside over the last week or so. We do have a long ratio of 3.5 to 1 for the Swiss franc. So I'm expecting a little, more, little bit more downside to this. We, we've popped up. We've um, hit the 20-day moving average. Uh, we've come up. We've, um, we've bounced off the 50 on the RSI before. Uh, so I'm looking for this to sort of pop back down again we'll see where that goes but um, as I say I prefer it on the crosses because I'm a, a dollar bull and I'm a Swiss franc bull so there you go uh, USD Japanese yen I uh, saw such a lot of strength yesterday in the yen um, and uh, this morning we've seen a little bit of strength come back in the dollar we'll look at the DXY in a minute we've got a commercials long ratio of 5.3 to 1 much prefer this again on the crosses. Um, so, you know, that's just the way I am. But um, I can't see much point of uh, going uh, long the Japanese yen and long the, the US dollar. But the, hey ho. Um, New Zealand dollar, US dollar. This is going up nicely for us. Uh, we've got a, an increased commercials position of 3.6 to 1 long. Uh, we've, got, we've come up nearly 400 pips so far. Uh, we keep bouncing off the trend line. Uh, I think this might have a little bit more of a way to go. Uh, I've put another resistance just above. I think, I think we've just broken through that one. Um, so we'll see where that goes in the next couple of days. Uh, but I want to sell that back down. Uh, there's a lot of potential uh, gain in, in, that, um, in that currency at the moment. Uh, silver. Uh, we went up, we've, uh, we sort of broke through the trend line sort of sideways, which wasn't a very strong signal, but we broke through, we've come back down and uh, we did start going down quite nicely. Uh, then we had the weakness on the dollar and uh, we've had a little bit of a hiccup here. 
Uh, I've got my resistance line at uh, 60 on the RSI. Uh, we've come down below and now it looks like we're going to go back up. Um, not overly convinced by this. Uh, I preferred the look of the Palladium, especially with the commitment of traders uh, report, the, um, the very uh, short position that the commercials have got, an extreme short position on uh, Palladium. So there you go. Uh, DXY spot, this is uh, the dollar, the spot on the dollar against a basket of currencies. Uh, we're back up to recent highs. Uh, three times now we've been here. We've got a little bit of uh, resistance there. Uh, I think we're going to break through over the next couple of days. Uh, my trade at the bottom here, I got knocked out of. That is the problem with stop losses. And uh, I've got this rule, I don't move them. Once I put a stop loss in, I don't move it just get knocked out um wow yeah okay well that's basically it for today sorry <laughs> so uh hopefully um you know um I, i'll be uh, going changing brokers and i'm going to be uh, start trading um uh, sugar and cotton and um copper and uh, one or two other items which uh, I, I think you might find interesting okay well anyway hopefully see you soon Cheers now.